Hello my dear students. Today we are going to talk about intercepts of graphs of functions. First of all, what is an intercept? An intercept means the point where the graph intersects any of the axes. So we have x intercept where the graph meets the x axis and the y intercept means the point where the graph intersects or meets the y axis. Look at this graph in front of us here. So the x-intercept here, we can say that the x-intercepts are these points, the following points. I'm going to point on it by red here. This is an x-intercept. And this is another x-intercept. And this is another or a third x-intercept. These are the points where the graph, this graph, intersects the x-axis here. Also, the y-intercepts, let me make it by another color. Okay, so the, the point here on the y-axis is the point where, this point here in blue, is the point where the graph intersects the y-axis and this is called the y-intercept. Let us have some examples here. The first example says that, use the graph to estimate the x and y-intercepts of the function and describe where the function is positive and negative. Okay, we are talking about the intercepts first. So what is the, inter the x-intercept? If we look here on the graph, we will see that the, the graph intersects the x-axis in this point, and this point has coordinates 3 and 0. So we're going to, to write here at 3 and 0. And the y-intercept is this point, and this point has the coordinate of, if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it is at point 0 and 6 on the y-axis. Okay, let us look at the function, where is the function positive and negative? What does it mean a function is positive and negative? Okay, if we look back here on this graph, the function will be positive if the graph is above the x-axis. And where is it above the x-axis here? It is above the x-axis at this, this part. This red part, it is above the x-axis. And also this part is above the x-axis, as you see from the graph. So we can say that the function is positive when it is above the x-axis. And when is it negative? When it is below the x-axis. So we can say that it is below the x-axis in this part, this green part here, and this part from here to from this point on the x-axis to this point on the x-axis. So when we have a function like this one in our example here, we are asking now where the function is positive and where is it negative. Look at the function. Where is it positive? It's positive in this part from here to till this point. It's above the x-axis in this part. So we will say that it is positive for all x values that are less than this value, which is the x-intercept here, because at this part, in this point, it will move downwards, it will move below the x-axis, so it will be, instead of positive, it will turn into negative. So where is it positive? It is all the x values which are less than 3. And what about the x values that are above 3 or more than 3? It becomes negative, becomes below the x-axis, below the x-axis, so it is negative. So we'll say that the function is negative when x is greater than 3. This is how we solve this example. Let us have another example. Use the graph to estimate the x and y intercepts of the function and describe where the function is positive and negative again. Okay, the x-intercepts, we will see here the x-intercept, let me make it in red okay or orange the x-intercepts are this point at negative 4 
and also at this point which is at positive 3 okay what about the y-intercepts the y-intercept we can see that the graph intersects the y-axis only at this point which is at negative 12 of course we can write the x-intercepts as ordered pairs like negative 4 and 0 and 3 and 0 and the y-intercept can be written as 0 and negative 12. Now, where is the function positive or negative? The function is positive in this part, as you see here, because this part is above the x-axis and also this part is above the x-axis. While the part in the middle here is below the x-axis, so it will be negative. Okay, now let, let's talk about the positive part. How can I define the positive part? I'm going to write it as all x that are less than negative 4. Okay, and what about where the other part? It is all x that are greater than positive 3 because it's after 3. These are the two parts where the function is positive. What about the negative part in the middle here? We said that in the middle here from this part to this part, all this green area here, this green graph, part of the graph, this is negative. So it is between the two points, negative 4 and positive 3. So we're going to write it as follows. We're going to write it as x between negative 4 and positive 3. Thank you and to the next video. Bye-bye.